time uh, right around Thanksgiving, he said, Grandpa, I said, no, I'm thinking about um, just not preaching tonight, Grandpa. I'm thinking about just kind of, you know, having a family night, you know, where you can just come and sing and give testimonies. And he said, man, you're fired too. So, so never mind. So turn your Bible to Exodus chapter 5, though I don't plan to be long. Amen. They believe that God visited them and they worship because He looked upon their faith. 
Sometimes it's going to get rough. And I know we're at Thanksgiving, but I just want to say, but the, but the whole thing that will happen is that one day you will look back and you will be so thankful for the journey that God has put you on because you learn more from that journey in the valley than you ever do from the mountaintop. I always told you that. We need the valleys more than we need the mountaintops. Amen. But anyway. Um, so, let me just say this. The enemy tries to make things hard for anyone who would truly follow God. Why would he do that, by the way? What is the purpose? Why does the enemy try to make it hard for you? Why is that? Yes. To make you turn and go back. Okay, yes, that's true. Yes, indeed. That's true. Anybody else? That's very true. Yes. Right 
to the throne of God. He went right to the place, to the person that called him. Notice he didn't say anything to the people. He went right to God. Amen? And he was honest with God. He said, Lord, ever since I came here, there's been nothing but hardship. Neither have you delivered these people at all. As a matter of fact, their problems got worse since I came. You ever felt like that? You ever felt like ever since you started trying to follow God or, or whatever, that the situations started getting worse? Oh yeah, you know what we call that? We call it testing. It was said your beliefs are going to be tested. Whether you like it or not, you cannot continue to serve God and say, Lord, I believe that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords and you're the greatest and all of that. And then all of a sudden the test comes and now you want to turn away from God. Now you don't even want to be in church. You don't even want to be in the Bible. Now you're just so discouraged. You're not, you don't want to do nothing for God anymore. Listen to me real quickly. Moses was able to help them because Moses went to the presence of the one that helped him. Amen. And he was able to turn around and keep them focused, although the, it was hard. You know what God did, though? You know what God did? Look at verse 1 real quick. Then the Lord, down to verse 1, chapter 6. Chapter, next chapter. No, verse 1, I'm done. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go. And with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. Turn your back on God, or you have joined the enemy. 
And in some cases, both of those things have happened. So as long as you have hardship, that lets you know that you're on the right track. <laughs> so if you're having hardship, then understand one thing. I must be doing something right. Because if I'm doing something right, I'm going to have hardship. You study your Bible, and you will see that every person that has ever endeavored to serve God had to go through hardship. There's no one, including our Savior, that ever endeavored to do anything for God that they didn't have to face hardship. It's the same thing with us. Amen. God bless you. Father, thank you for this time. We pray, Lord, that you will bless us as we go. Forgive us, dear God, our sin. And help us, Lord, to stay focused on you, dear God. Help us not to get distracted. And especially now, dear God, because in these days, it's so easy to get discouraged, feeling like you don't have money to buy gifts, and you don't have this, and you don't have that. But Lord, help us to understand, dear God, that the meaning for this season is so much more than getting gifts for people. Lord, it is about the sacrifice that you have made for us. Help us, Lord, not to be like the world and turn, uh, turn the holiday into something paganistic, dear God, something that we put money in the hands of corporations. It's not about that. Lord, help us, dear God, to continue to do the